Holy poop, is it rainy today? <laughs> I was looking for a point to commentate when there wouldn't be this sort of white noise in the background, but doesn't look like it's gonna happen anytime soon, so... Hello everyone and welcome to another Fortnite video. This is post-commentary this time because I've noticed I play so much better not live commentating, like seriously. <laughs> <laughs> like, the way that I was shooting and playing was just so sluggish and bad compared to how I would play otherwise when my full concentration is on the game. Like, I've, I've mentioned that's a thing before with other games, but it's especially apparent with this game. I don't know if it's because of the high-speed action or if it's just that I don't have everything down to a super awesome reflex yet or something like that. I don't know, but just, just watch this game. <laughs> <laughs> you will be amazed at the difference. So anyway, I decided to drop over here. Just thought, eh, just maybe I'll get the helicopter and do that uh, challenge over at Steamy Stacks. Or at least, so I thought. Because you see, uh, there's no more helicopter here anymore. <laughs> and, uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It's like, I'm, I'm looking for it, I'm like, wait, um, where, where's, where's my Choppa? Where, Choppa? Choppa? Oh no, you're just a bare dirt spot! I thought you just weren't loading in! Well, it appears as if this game is kind of a bust in doing that challenge, so I might as well take a look-see around here and see if I can find maybe said Choppa. I'm like, eh, no, 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 I don't see any nearby. I don't know where they... They're, they're located right now in the new map, but that's okay, I'll just play this game normally, why not? Because, just why not? <laughs> so, I begin my looting in a very awkward drop spot, otherwise I would have dropped at the roof and gone for the chest inside the little, little tippy top, whatever you want to call it, like lookout tower type place there, and I put a little wall there as a little bit of a guard. I hear something below me and I'm like, I'm gonna dig myself down there, and there we go. Burst Assault, I will take that, and I will also go over to this place for possible ammo chests, which there was, and also, surprise, blue experience coin. And here's that chest that I was going to say that I would normally drop that if I were to land at this location. Yup, I, I would have popped over there, or maybe I would have grabbed that weapon first that typically spawns at the top, whatever. It depends on the situation, like, if I am, uh, if I am... Just, like in a hurry to get something like because I'm being contested at a drop I'll go and run after the the weapons that are not in the chest just go for them and then go after the person as quickly as I possibly can in that in that case I just had a pistol out I knew that person didn't have anything because he just dropped so I was like okay I'll just use the pistol I'd rather save the AR ammo for the uh, burst assault, so I might as well. And I noticed that storm's uh, a little far away, so I think it's about time I get a move on, and thus I do. I didn't see anyone around this, although I did, did see that little wall. See, yeah, see, I turned the camera down over there. I seen that little wall pop up over to that side. I'm like, should I go contest? Or should I keep. Because I know there's chests over at the lawnmower racetrack place. Man, eh, I'll go and contest those people. I, I want I want battling practice. So thus, I go in the direction of the gunfire, just because. And eh, I'm still not finding anything. It's just like where the poop did those players go? They must have been battling on the go or something like that. Well, there's some people that I see over there, and I aim at a distance away and get that player out of the game. There's another player that I see up ahead though. He's probably gonna grab the loot, so. I'm gonna go try and run over there. I could use the crash pads, which I will. <laughs> and pop on over there to see. I, I I heard that there was something over to my left as well that sounded closer. So I decided, okay, I'll, I'll change course a little bit and see if I can get that person there. I'm a little bit off on my aim. I know, I know, I know. It's just a little bit. They only have to be a little bit off at that distance for it to be a miss. And... And just wait. Hold on. Yep. <laughs> I can see the player went over there. I thought I would try the, the flare gun to start a little fire going on there for some residual damage and everything like that. Just trying to play around with the new weapons and stuff like that. And um, ah, poopers. 
<laughs> Can't see, dang it. <laughs> Using a little little bit of guards, a little bit of ramps. I got myself stuck there, that was my own fault. I thought the ramps were going to be in the other direction, but... And yeah, a person's going to probably go off the edge by the time I get up there. I'm just trying to get as much firing into there as I can. But wait, the other person decides I'm going to go in the other direction. So I'm going to shoot the... <laughs> <laughs> Shoot the flare gun over there and a little explosive goodness. And missed with the second one somehow. And. Oh, ah, did not expect the person to go up and over. I thought it was gonna go around. Anyway. Ah, ah, ah. Stop moving around so much, dang it. <laughs> Just messing with my predictions. Um, I probably should have grabbed those fireflies as they're, they're pretty fun to mess around with as well. Did you see that collect icon that appeared up over there? Yeah, but I, I didn't pick it up at the time. I don't know. I don't know. I just decided I guess to move on because I already slipped down here. It's like, eh, let's move on with the groove on and get the chests. By the way, um, the charge shotgun there. I think I have greatly underestimated that thing. I mean, at, at the time... I was avoiding using it, even now, but uh, I found different uses for it that I didn't think of at first. Like, for instance, if you're jumping down at someone, you can charge it on the way down and get some massive damage on them. You know, attack that weak point for massive damage. And <laughs> you can also potentially catch pe uh, players off guard with that as well. Like, if they don't know where you are and you're doing some sort of trickery with your movements and stuff like that, you might be able to get them from the side or behind or they can't see you or something like that. Uh, alternately, you could just pop them regular with the, the weapon as it will fire as quick as you can release the trigger. So it's fine to use like that as well. Although it won't have nearly the amount of effect as if you just charged it a little bit. I'm thinking, uh, uh, do I want that to, uh, I don't know, I think I'd be better off with that than the uh, pistol at this point in time. Uh, I, I'm not too good with the hunting rifle, but I have noticed its power. And that, you know, regardless of where you hit, even if it's at close range, like if you're, you're flailing around, uh, and you just need something like, say, you would do a no-scope sniper shot, I would say that that has a better chance of hitting than a regular no-scope <laughs> sniper shot other than, yeah, so... It, I, I figured it might be a little bit better depending on the situation, since I, I, bo I got two mid-range weapons anyway via the burst AR as well as the uh, pistol, so I might as well just swap them out. And I decided to swap that as well, just pop that, I thought, yeah, I probably should grab that SMG as well. I don't know why that weapon, that ammo didn't grab, but okay. And I got four weapons. I'm gonna break these, just kinda get some materials, as well as knock it out for someone who might wanna come by. And I'm like, wait, wait, should I take, yeah, apparently I should, <laughs> yeah, I was kinda indecisive at that time, because I could've grabbed those other shields, and yeah. It's like, nah, I'll, I'll go with this, so I'll see how things go. Things are... Things are going pretty decently so far, and I'm just kind of trying to practice with new stuff, basically, you know, like, that I'm, I'm not used to using, like, say, the hunting rifle here. It's like, get this out, and I'm like, hey, ah, the fence! <laughs> I was tracking it perfectly, too! And I'm like, oh, I tried to get a little jump quick quick shot there, I'm like, you know what, I'll kind of distract you, and then I'll go after you. I, I thought the other person was actually going to build, but that, per that person did not decide to build at all. No! It's like, <laughs> okay, whatever, whatever. I'm like, I'll upgrade that, give myself a slightly better, and I was like, no, oh, no, no, maybe I'll go for the SMG. Definitely going for the golden scar of doom there, because that's a pretty nice little weapon there, and thus... I move on with my day. I was like, wait, 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 car, car, definitely go after the medals. Watch for that weak point, Pika Gam, but just don't, don't flail around. I know you're looking for other people off on the sides and stuff like that, but still, you gotta get the materials as quick as possible. <laughs> just to make sure that you aren't sitting out in the open. And yeah, I'm just just watching for people too much. Normally, I hit the weak point marks a lot more consistently than that, as you've seen. But when I'm when I'm suspecting that there's other people around, like due to other gunfire and stuff like that, and yeah, I thought maybe marking that spot in case I want to come back to this would be a good idea. But uh, you know, I try not to mark the weapons and just memorize what I marked for later. Because I noticed that the uh, if you mark the weapon, the, your mark will actually disappear after a while. <laughs> so it's like, I put the mark down, 
and I want to go back for it maybe, and I'm like, wait, 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 where'd my mark go? I'm sure that I put a mark, so instead now I just started to memorize what the poop is at the location, and then I was like, eh, okay, I'll just leave a mark there normally, because those marks won't disappear. And I decided to keep the uh, small shield potions over the regular shield potions because they're faster to drink uh, in higher speed action scenarios. And I'm already at decent health to begin with here. In fact, I'm at full health to begin with here. I don't know what I'm saying decently. This is as good as it gets. And uh, so I was like, yeah, I could probably get by with just these small shield potions and move on from here. Oh, I heard some shots. It is time to pick from a distance, well, decent distance, I would say. I'm thinking of shooting at the person in the water, just like doing the first shot accuracy, and I'm like, nah, just spam it. <laughs> One of them's gonna hit. <laughs> so just instead of playing, hit the jack in the box, or hit the mole popping up, you know, whack-a-mole, it's like, eh, just spam it, it's fine. And so I'm, I'm thinking, should I go for that stuff? I can't exactly tell what it is, but I'm going to go for this for sure, because I, I see a bunch of materials there. I can't tell what's at the other spot. Maybe I have enough time to go for that, and I go for that. I already got seven eliminations, and there's still ten people left. So yeah, this has been a pretty decent game so far, I've got to see. <laughs> uh, look, looking around, grab the whoa. weapon, more material, sure, sure, sure. And we're off. <laughs> Yeah, so I, eh, I just peek around, because maybe there's some peeps around these parts. Maybe I should have checked that bush before I started hitting into that rock there. I was like, wait, wait, I thought I, I, thought I hit that mark! What? What? That did disappear, so I went back for the final hit. But I figured after that, I was like, okay, they would have shot at me if they were in the bush anyway, so I might as well just not even bother. If any of these bushes, for that matter, because they would have shot at me, unless they're playing super stealth, in which case they, they wouldn't shoot at me at all then, because they're playing mega passive, so chances are there shouldn't be any sort of ire passing by that stuff. I'm trying to duck around this stuff so I don't leave my head exposed, or body exposed in general. The storm is a coming though, so I gotta keep on moving. And I hear some stuff going on over to the left, but I'm like, eh, I probably should move on with the storm. Oh, wait, wait, so that was the boat that I heard. Hey there! <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to hit anything. I can't see the person in the boat. I just kind of aim for the middle and hope a bullet hits. Because, the, you know, the seating is like middle to the front, so to speak, in, in terms of where you sit if you're a driver of the boat. So I try to aim around that area. But I can't really see super well on that, but the person is running anyway, so it's not that big of a deal, I guess. And I still gotta rotate with the storm anyway. I take a peek through the bush, see if there's anyone that time, because I learned my lesson the first time. <laughs> and I immediately go for the gunfire, because I figure that they are gonna lose some health somewhere along the lines. And I immediately start tracking what the poop a lot of that did not hit. And I know I know that my cursor wasn't completely in line there, but still, uh, there's yeah, there's a lot that was in line, you know. <laughs> anyway, that that took care of things, and we are good to go. I mean, yeah, that wasn't my best aiming there, and I was like, should I go? I probably should go. I mean, I'll take a little bit of storm damage, but I'll get a bunch of stuff out of this, including ammo and whatnot. So I'll just go take a couple ticks out of that, and let's go pop on back over here and leave. Uh, everything except for the material there. Wait, did I actually, actually, did I grab that material? I don't think I grabbed that material. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I, didn't, I must not realize that in, uh, uh, when I was recording at the time, but I got plenty of material at the moment of time anyway. I'm going to take advantage of this person being distracted in third party, if I can. I thought the person was going to 90 around. I'm just going to go kind of build two rows here to kind of throw the person off, and I see the person is kind of hanging out off on the right side there while the other person is going up. I'm like, mm, yeah, I think I'm gonna go start SMGing this wall here, see if I can get some hits off, and I managed to get some there. I'm like, eh, I can probably get a couple more in there, but I'll put up an extra wall there, because I can see the person setting up, and oh, no, 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 <laughs> We're okay, we're okay. Just a little bit of scratch damage. We're good. I figured I would knock out the ceiling there so that the person would be distracted. It's like, eh, okay, I'll just wait a bit here and see if they peek. Oh, 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 oh! 
Oh, oh. Coming from the other side. Now I'm getting third party here. It's only fair, after all, it's a battle royale. So I'm like, okay, maybe I can't fire for that person now. I'm gonna go waterfall down here, only I did so poorly. And in my haste, I just, <laughs> I'll just gotta move on here. And get over to the next spot, but then I see the person that was firing at me. And I try and track it and track the person in the water, which is kind of difficult because of all the splashes going on there. But I had the general idea or general area and just started firing shots over there. I was like, okay, that turned out fine. And we best go because the storm is coming and it's gonna be a powerful. But I got this whirlpool here and I know how to use it. I also got a. Uh, uh, full med kit there, so I'm gonna go hang out at some place that doesn't look occupied by someone. So I'm looking for people that are running around here, and I see down over there, see that at the bottom right? Yeah, I'm looking over there, so that's one of the last three players. I don't see any build activity over here, other than that little bit over there, but it looks like that they ignored the shield potion, which means that they were gone from the spot, and I will grab that to fill up the shield as well. STRATERGY! <laughs> then I go for that for the full refill. I'm gonna drop that ahead of time to see if I can grab the SMG. And I don't think I have enough range to grab it, but I figured eh, it's nice to rearrange my weapons really quick anyway while I'm just waiting for that. I'm thinking, should I break that to get that crate? Because that'll make make noise if I try and get the food in that crate above the fridge. I'm like, nah, I'll wait, wait a little bit here. See how things go. And... So, I, I, I see that there's one player that was eliminated, and now I'm trying to look for the remaining two. I've seen that there was one over here because of those builds, but I don't know where the other one is, so I'm trying to play cautious. Oh, there's the other player! <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go in here and try and get some cover while the other person is distracted. I'm trying to find... Oh, never mind, that person is gone. And now I just gotta get some shots off on the other person, if I can. Uh, not quite. Nah, uh -uh. not gonna happen. So I'm gonna go do a little ramp rush in here. I'm gonna go around. I think this person is distracted with one of the henchmen that's around these parts, based on the music. So I'm like, ooh, this looks like a good opportunity to do some damage to that player. So I'm gonna go pop on around from the top here and try and find that person wherever they're firing from and I, I don't know why I didn't just build a floor there I was just threading the needle with my jumping skills there but I, <laughs> I'm like ah, I, don't know, I don't see where that other player is but I bet that other player is gonna start building up I can hear him so I best get myself up and around I kind of built myself to a corner there that was my own fault but wait 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 I thought the person was gonna come up based on that ramp you know the, that's the peaking angle I'm like, whoa! <laughs> okay, so that person is. I thought the person was gonna try landing on me for a second there, but no, no, no. And I, I lost the person for just a second there, but then I seen that that, that they were uh, hanging out over at that spot down below, and I switched my aim there. I was like, whoops! I, I wanted to put a wall, not fire there. Not not a big deal or anything. I've still got high ground. I did some pretty decent tracking there, but I think the person is healing up as I lost them. I, I don't want to jump down recklessly or anything like that, because with the charged shotgun and all like that, you can take a lot of damage very quickly, so I was like, eh, maybe not. And I see the person going through, <laughs> using the... I, I missed because of my build there, well, well, also because of bad aim in general, but I mean, I see that the person was using the zip line there, and I see some peeking going on there. Oh! I thought maybe I could destroy their builds with the power of the SMG, so I start firing down below because it can wipe out builds very quickly as you've seen me do before. I replenish my builds because they're destroying my stuff, and I'm like, maybe I should attach this stuff. I was gonna try and wedge myself up there, and then I'm gonna go make a double layer going on here, and then I have like a whole flat surface to go around with. That the person though decides to tunnel all around all over the place here and just try and confuse me, but I'm still uh, generally following their movement. It's just I'm, I'm decided, eh, I'm gonna heal, and I see them peek out over there, and I'm gonna fire off in that direction. See, they did indeed heal up. And I'm still trying to knock out through the walls and stuff like that to see if I can get some damage chipped out over there, because it's very hard to build faster than the SMG. In fact, impossible to build faster than the SMG. 
Um, except if you do double layers, of course, but the person is not double layering over there. person did get a lot of good shots on me there. So I was like, oh, I better back off, better heal as best I can, if I can. But uh, the trouble is, is that what I really should be using is not the SMG from here. I realize that as I'm trying to heal and I switch over to my AR. And then as a result of that, just wait till you see how this turns out. Game over. <laughs> That was just a bad decision on my part to keep using the SMG. And that is a 10 elimination victory. And with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.